And Meredith, I have to imagine the clubhouse vibe for the Yankees is a lot better right now. Bob, I think that's pretty safe to say. In fact, during Aaron Boone's post-game Zoom last night, you could hear the music blaring in the Yankees clubhouse. When I asked him about the mood in there, he just had a huge smile on his face and said, we have to enjoy some of the good moments throughout the course of the season. Now, the Yankees offense has ignited. You look at the fact that they have managed 17 runs on 29 hits over the last two games, and they're hitting the long ball again. Six homers over the last two games. There's a good reason why they should be feeling better about themselves and while they've already won the series they've now put themselves in a spot where they can sweep the twins it's a good position to be in obviously for these few games and um like the way we've played obviously the last couple of days and um you know hopefully we can go out tonight and, and support michael and, and and get out of here with a really good series and a really good start to this road trip 17 runs over the last two games, maybe not that amount of offense, but what tells you that this is sustainable when it comes to the offense, that, that they are capable of this production? Well, we've seen all these guys perform at a very high level before. Um, so <clears throat> there's no reason to think we can't <clears throat> continue it. Um, and, and again, I, I remain steadfast in my belief in this offense and what they're capable of doing. And um, you know, we've, we've got to keep the, keep the foot on the gas and keep, keep grinding away and, and keep as a unit, um, really focusing on quality at bats and, uh, I've certainly like what we've seen the last few days. What do you like about Aaron judge in center field tonight? Well, I always like judgy in the lineup. Um, obviously, um, you know, I think obviously just, you know, you know, Cameron Gardy out there every day, obviously with a lefty going today um, and Jay wanting to, you know, get as many righties in there as we can. Gets Frage back in the lineup tonight, obviously. Get Gittins in there and, and hopefully, um, you know, as a group, they can go out there and make it make it tough on Jay and, and, and uh, look forward to seeing uh, the big guy patrolling center. And it will be Aaron Judge's third appearance in center field this year. And while he doesn't have a ton of reps there, I did speak to him a couple of weeks ago, and he said he feels extremely comfortable in center, no issues there at all. Jack, as you mentioned, Michael King will get the ball this evening. It'll be his third start of the year, and it's been a little bit difficult for him to get into any type of a routine. He's shuttled back and forth between AAA and the majors. He has worked as a reliever and now a starter. I asked him yesterday how he's feeling on the mound right now. I feel very confident. Um, I uh, felt like I made some strides in my last appearance. Um, and um, I felt like I was a starter again, I guess is what I should say, where I, instead of going out there and attacking with everything I have and giving you whatever, 30, 40 pitches, I just, I was able to kind of extend it over five plus innings um, and felt very comfortable and uh, I'm happy to do it again tomorrow. It's something that certainly is not foreign to you starting, but when you have to transition from the role you were in back to that, just, just how difficult is that menti mentally and physically to get back in the swing? Yeah, I, I actually had a conversation with Harky about that um, after my first one, um, where he said that you've been trained as a reliever for however long and taking that approach for however long. And then I tried to go a complete game in my last appearance and it was just totally different for my body and kind of how I reacted. So he said, just go out there, throw like a reliever for as long as you possibly can. And when we think that you're tired, we'll take you out. And um, so I, I had that kind of approach um, early. And then kind of once I got in my groove, I felt like I fell right back into my starters routine and role and was able to uh, extend it out. And King has relied pretty heavily on the sinker and the cutter throughout the course of this season, and you can expect pretty much the same out of him tonight. Now, it'll be a familiar face on the other side in Jay Happ, and he's been struggling a lot lately, as Jack had noted. He is a ERA over five so far this season, but his last five games, his ERA has ballooned above 10. I asked Aaron Boone, what's the key against Happ tonight? I think getting him on the plate, you know, when he's at his best, you know, he, he's, you know, got some life life to his fastball, you know, that he tries to work at the top of the zone, you know, the upper inner half, 
Um, you know, we'll, we'll try and work his secondary enough to, to keep you honest and things like that. But I think just, you know, pitch selection, pushing them onto the big part of the plate. Um, and if we do that, hopefully we can go out and have success against them. And from his time with the Yankees, what do you remember about him as a competitor, as a member in that clubhouse? Yeah, Jay, you know, he pitched a lot of really good games for us. Um, you know, I think think of the time, you know, when we traded for him, obviously, um, in 18, uh, pitched really well for us in that season. Obviously, 19 was a little bit uh, up and down for him, um, but, but finished the season pretty strong. And then last year, you know, after a slow start to the season a little bit, um, you know, finished the season strong for us. So, um, he's a guy that, you know, wants to take the ball and, and, you know, competed well for us.